Ever noticed her stealing glances at you, only to quickly look away and maybe even blush when you catch her? You might wonder if she's just being polite or if she's really got you on her mind. Well, if a woman is into you, she often can't hide her natural reactions, no matter how much she tries. Every little smile, gesture, and word from her might just be a clue that you're the one she's thinking about. Today, we're diving into 11 subtle but clear signs that she's definitely got you on her mind and is craving your attention. We'll look at these signs through the fascinating lens of stoicism, giving you deeper insights into her behavior. If you've got feelings for her, don't miss out. This video could be your key to forming a meaningful connection. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to support our channel. Found this video useful? Share it with someone who might benefit from it and drop a comment to let us know your thoughts. Your feedback is priceless and helps our community thrive. Now, let's get started. Number one, her eyes betray her. When you're around a woman who's constantly thinking about you, her eyes will be the first to give away her true feelings. For example, you're at a social gathering and you notice her eyes tracking your every move. It's as if she's magnetically drawn to you, unable to avert her gaze. Even when you catch her looking, she might quickly glance away, trying to appear nonchalant. But those lingering looks unmistakably show that her thoughts are entirely centered on you. On the other hand, a woman who sees you merely as a friend won't spend time looking your way. She won't be fixated on you in that manner. However, if she can't stop herself from sneaking glances at you, often looking away bashfully when caught, it's a clear indication that her mind is preoccupied with thoughts of you. Eye contact is a primal way for humans to feel connected. Those burning looks she casts your way aren't just innocent glances. They trigger powerful bonding chemicals in her brain, flooding her with feelings of closeness. The longer she drinks in the sight of you, the stronger those sensations of desire become. It's like her eyes are windows into the depths of her attraction, revealing emotions she may not even fully realize herself yet. For example, you're sitting across from her in a cafe as you talk, you notice her eyes aren't just focused on your face. They're locked in, almost as if she's trying to memorize every detail. When you catch her gaze and she looks away quickly, it's not because she's uninterested. On the contrary, she's probably imagining what it would be like to be closer to you, to share more moments together. In the philosophy of Stoicism, maintaining composure and observing subtle cues can be enlightening. By calmly noting her eye contact, you can understand her feelings without jumping to conclusions. This patient observation reflects the stoic practice of mindfulness, helping you stay grounded and perceptive. If you notice her eyes lingering on you, chances are she spends countless waking hours imagining what it would be like to be yours. This realization can give you confidence but remember to stay humble and considerate. Just as the Stoics teach, balance your emotions and approach the situation with a clear mind and open heart. Number two, she mimics the way you talk and behave. Have you ever noticed how someone might start to imitate your way of speaking or even your body language? This is known as mirroring, and it's a powerful indicator that she's thinking about you and trying to connect on a deeper level. In Stoicism, we learn that our actions and thoughts are interconnected, and this connection can extend to how we interact with others. When a woman mirrors your language and behaviors, it's her subconscious way of aligning with your energy and seeking your approval. It's a subtle yet profound form of communication that reveals her interest in you. Imagine you're on a date and you lean slightly forward while talking. After a few moments, you notice she also leans forward. This is mirroring in action. It might be so subtle that it's almost imperceptible, but it's a clear sign that she's in tune with you and wants to create a sense of unity. 
From an evolutionary psychology perspective, mirroring is a way to build connection. People naturally gravitate toward those who resemble them in some way, as it creates a sense of shared experiences and mutual understanding. When she mirrors your actions, she's subconsciously trying to establish this connection. If you cross your arms, she might do the same. If you're sitting with one leg over the other, she might adopt a similar posture. This isn't just random, it's her mind's way of creating a bond by synchronizing with your movements. Pay attention to how she speaks. If you use a particular phrase or slang, she might start using it too. Or, if you have a certain rhythm in your speech, she might begin to match it. This mirroring of language indicates that she's not only listening to you, but is also deeply engaged in the conversation. Notice if she mimics your facial expressions. When you smile, does she smile back in the same way? When you look surprised, does her face reflect a similar emotion? This synchronization is a clear sign that she's emotionally connected to you. In Stoicism, understanding and observing these behaviors can help you navigate relationships with more wisdom and insight. Recognizing mirroring can be a reminder of the Stoic principle of interconnectedness, showing how our presence and actions influence those around us. The more mirroring you detect, the more she is drawn to you seeking to establish a deeper and more intimate bond. By being aware of these subtle cues, you can better understand her feelings and respond in a way that fosters a genuine connection. Remember, in Stoicism, we focus on our actions and how they align with our values. Observing and appreciating these signs of mirroring can help you build stronger, more authentic relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. Number three, she exhibits nervous behaviors. In the realm of Stoicism, we learn to observe and understand the subtle signs around us. One such sign is the display of anxious habits, which can reveal that a woman is thinking about you. These small, often unconscious behaviors can indicate her preoccupation and emotional excitement when she's near you. Picture you're having a conversation with a woman and you notice she frequently plays with her hair or bites her nails. While these actions might seem insignificant, they are actually her body's way of dealing with the nervous energy that comes from her attraction to you. When she can't fully relax and resorts to restless movements, it's a clear sign that you make her both anxious and excited. Consider a common scenario. You're sitting across from her at a coffee shop. As you talk, she continuously twists a ring on her finger, taps her foot under the table, or lightly brushes her skin. These repetitive motions are not random. They are her subconscious attempts to manage the stimulation she feels because of your presence. Her mind is aroused and cannot sit still leading to these small, habitual behaviors. From a psychological standpoint, these anxious habits are a way for her to channel nervous energy and maintain some level of comfort. Her actions are a direct response to the heightened emotions she feels when she's around you. By observing and understanding these behaviors, you can gain insight into her feelings and the impact you have on her. For example, if you notice she frequently adjusts her hair or fidgets with her jewelry when you're together, take it as a sign of her interest and excitement. This awareness allows you to respond with a calm and composed demeanor, embodying stoic principles. Your steadiness can help her feel more at ease, creating a more comfortable and enjoyable interaction for both of you. In essence, Recognizing and understanding these anxious habits can deepen your connection. It shows that you are attentive and aware of her subtle cues, which can further strengthen the bond between you. So, the next time you observe these small behaviors, remember that they are not just random ticks, but a window into her thoughts and feelings about you. Number four, she inquires about your interests. 
When a woman frequently asks about your interests and hobbies, it's a clear sign that she's thinking about you. This kind of curiosity goes beyond casual conversation. It's an indication that she wants to understand your inner world and what makes you tick. In Stoic philosophy, this can be seen as an effort to connect on a deeper level, valuing the person you are rather than just your outward appearance or status. For instance, imagine you're talking about your favorite book or a hobby you enjoy, and she keeps asking more detailed questions. What do you like most about that book? How did you get into that hobby? These aren't just polite questions. They show she's genuinely interested in what brings you joy and what you're passionate about. This kind of engagement reflects her desire to move beyond surface-level interactions and form a meaningful connection with you. Consider a scenario where you mention you're into hiking. Instead of just saying, that's cool, she might ask, what's the best hike you've ever been on? Or, what do you enjoy most about being out in nature? Her questions show that she's mentally invested in your experiences and wants to understand why those activities are important to you. This aligns with the stoic principle of seeking to understand and connect with others on a deeper level, focusing on their character and inner life. In stoicism, understanding and connecting with others is a vital aspect of living a virtuous life. By asking about your interests and hobbies, she demonstrates a desire to see beyond the external and engage with your authentic self. Her curiosity and effort to get to know you better indicate that you're often on her mind. It's a sign that she values you not just as an acquaintance, but as someone she wants to understand deeply and build a connection with. So, when she asks these probing questions, recognize that it's her way of showing that she cares and that she's invested in getting to know the real you. This deeper level of interest and engagement is a strong sign that you're occupying her thoughts, and she wants to forge a meaningful relationship with you based on mutual understanding and genuine interest. Number five, she laughed exaggeratedly at your jokes. Imagine this scenario. You crack a joke and she bursts into laughter, her reaction seeming over the top and excessively celebratory. This exaggerated response isn't just about the joke itself. It's a sign that she's deeply affected by your presence and wants to impress you. Her laughter, even at your most groan-worthy jokes, can be a clue that she's thinking about you and values your connection. In the light of Stoicism, we understand that people often act in ways that reflect their inner desires and emotions. When a woman laughs excessively at your jokes, it's her way of seeking validation and creating a bond. Laughter symbolizes compatibility and intimacy, two crucial elements in any relationship. By showering your humorous remarks with uproarious laughter, she's not just responding to the joke, she's reinforcing a shared connection between you two. Consider this example. You tell a simple, somewhat cheesy joke during a casual conversation. Instead of a polite chuckle, she laughs heartily, her eyes sparkling with delight. This reaction might seem exaggerated, but it's a powerful indicator of her interest. Psychologically, she craves the validation of your humor because it makes her feel closer to you. This laughter isn't just about finding the joke funny, it's about reinforcing the bond she feels with you. From a stoic viewpoint, it's important to recognize this behavior without letting it inflate your ego too much. Stoicism teaches us to remain grounded and not be swayed by external validation. Understand that her exaggerated laughter is a reflection of her feelings and desire to connect with you. It's her brain's way of ensuring she doesn't miss an opportunity to revel in your jokes and strengthen your feelings of acceptance. This excessive rejoicing originates from a place of wanting to be close to you. By laughing at your jokes, she's trying to boost your ego and make you perceive your dynamic as uniquely special. 
She wants you to see the connection you share as something extraordinary. In her mind, by validating your humor, she validates her own feelings and the bond you both share. So, the next time she laughs a bit too loudly at your jokes, take it as a compliment. Understand that it's not just about the humor. It's about her wanting to create a special connection with you. Embrace this moment with the calm confidence of a stoic, knowing that your presence has a meaningful impact on her. If you've made it this far and you're still with us, I invite you to pause for a moment. Share your thoughts in the comments below or simply type bravo. Your participation underscores your connection with our message. Let's keep going. Number six, she grooms herself. Have you ever noticed how she smooths her hair, adjusts her clothing, or checks her makeup when you're around? These seemingly small and unconscious actions are significant signs that she's thinking about you. This self-grooming behavior is more than just a habit. It's a deep-rooted, evolutionary signal of her interest. Let's dive into this intriguing phenomenon and how it ties into stoicism and understanding human nature. When a woman engages in these preening rituals, smoothing her hair, adjusting her clothes, or checking her appearance, it's a clear indicator that she's acutely aware of your presence. This behavior stems from our evolutionary roots, where appearing attractive and well-groomed was essential for attracting a mate. In ancient times, these actions were vital for survival and reproduction, and they still hold significant meaning today. From a Stoic perspective, it's essential to observe and understand these behaviors without becoming overly attached or swayed by them. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of understanding human nature and the motivations behind people's actions. By recognizing these grooming behaviors, you can gain insight into her feelings and the subtle signals she sends out. For example, you're at a social gathering and you notice a woman you're interested in frequently fixing her hair or adjusting her dress when she's near you. These actions are not random. They are driven by her subconscious desire to appear more attractive in your eyes. She's essentially preparing herself for the possibility of courtship, even if she's not fully aware of it. Understanding this can be empowering. You see, it's not just about recognizing that she might be interested in you. It's about appreciating the natural human behaviors and responses that drive these actions. The more pronounced and frequent these preening behaviors are, the stronger her subconscious drive is towards you. It's a reflection of her nervousness and a habit ingrained in her to boost her chances of gaining your interest. As you observe these cues, remember to remain calm and composed, embodying the stoic principles of self-awareness and emotional control. Acknowledge her actions, but don't let them dictate your feelings or reactions. Instead, use this knowledge to navigate your interactions with confidence and clarity. In summary, involuntary grooming is a powerful sign that a woman is thinking about you and is interested in gaining your attention. By understanding the evolutionary and psychological roots of these behaviors and viewing them through a stoic lens, you can better appreciate the subtle dynamics of human attraction stay alert to these cues, but always maintain your inner balance and composure. This approach will not only enhance your understanding of her interest, but also strengthen your own stoic practice in relationships. Number seven, she makes excuses to talk. When you notice a woman creating reasons to start random conversations, it's a strong sign she's thinking about you often. From a stoic perspective, this behavior can be seen as her natural way of seeking connection, reflecting her inner thoughts and feelings. Imagine you're at work and she suddenly approaches you with a trivial question about the copier, even though she knows perfectly well how to use it. Or perhaps she sends you a message asking for advice on something she could easily figure out herself. These seemingly minor interactions are her way of engineering opportunities to engage with you. 
She might ask about your weekend plans, even if she doesn't have a specific reason to know. Each of these small conversations is her method of drawing your attention and creating a connection. In Stoicism, we learn to observe behaviors without judgment and to understand the intentions behind actions. Her constant need to talk to you, even about insignificant topics, reveals her desire to connect on a deeper level. It's not about the content of the conversation, but the act of communicating itself. She values the time spent interacting with you, and these moments are significant for her. Let's say you catch her asking about a movie you mentioned weeks ago, or seeking your opinion on something trivial. These are not random queries. They are deliberate attempts to initiate dialogue and keep you engaged. Her mind is occupied with thoughts of you, and she uses these excuses to bridge the gap between you two. By understanding this from a stoic viewpoint, you can see that her actions are driven by a deeper emotional need. She struggles to keep you off her mind and finds comfort in your interactions. This tendency to manufacture reasons for communication highlights her effort to create a bond and the impact you have on her thoughts. Remember, every conversation she starts is an opportunity for her to feel connected to you. It's a way for her to selfishly monopolize your time and mind share, even if it seems insignificant. By recognizing these signs, you can better understand her feelings and the depth of her interest in you. Number eight, she recalls minor details. One of the most telling signs that a woman is thinking about you is when she consistently remembers the little details about your life. This isn't just about her having a good memory. It's about her being genuinely interested in you and valuing your shared moments. When she recalls minor details or inside jokes you've shared, it indicates that you're frequently on her mind and that she cares deeply about what matters to you. In the philosophy of Stoicism, paying attention to the present moment and valuing what's important are key principles. When a woman remembers your favorite snack, the name of your childhood pet, or even that annoying commercial jingle you can't stand, it shows that she's not only listening but also valuing the small pieces of your life. This kind of attentiveness is a form of respect and indicates a deeper emotional connection. Consider this example. You mention offhandedly that your favorite childhood memory is eating strawberry ice cream at the park with your family. Weeks later, she surprises you with that same flavor of ice cream. This small act isn't just thoughtful. It's a clear sign that she listens to you and cherishes the details you share. She's gone out of her way to remember and act on something that brings you joy. From a stoic perspective, these moments reflect a significant investment in your relationship. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to appreciate the value in our connections with others. Her ability to remember and bring up these small details demonstrates that she values your words and experiences. Her brain flags even these seemingly insignificant details about you as important, worthy of mental bookmarking. This attention to detail reveals her growing emotional investment in you. Furthermore, this kind of behavior shows that she's attuned to your likes, dislikes, and quirks, making an effort to connect with you on a deeper level. When a woman remembers and acknowledges the small things about you, she's non-verbally signaling that you occupy a significant place in her thoughts. It's a way of showing that your shared experiences, no matter how trivial they might seem, are important to her. By embracing and appreciating these gestures, you not only strengthen your bond, but also cultivate a relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. Core Tenets of Stoic Philosophy her attentiveness to the small details is a profound insight into her feelings. 
suggesting she values and cherishes her connection with you. This level of detail and care is a testament to her budding emotional investment, signaling that you mean a lot to her. Number nine, she lifts positivity. Have you noticed that she seems exponentially happier, cheerier, and more prone to giggles when you're around? Outbursts of laughter and a generally positive demeanor can signal her joyful excitement simply from being in your presence. This behavior is not just a surface-level reaction. It's deeply rooted in our evolutionary past. From an evolutionary standpoint, projecting positivity through smiles, laughter, and animated body language helped our ancestors attract mates. These behaviors are deeply intertwined with our psychological mating rituals. When she can't stop laughing and grinning around you, it reveals her subconscious delight in your company. Those bubbly moments unveil her true feelings that she may be trying to conceal. Let's break this down with an example. Imagine you're both at a social gathering, surrounded by friends. You crack a joke, and she bursts into laughter, louder and more genuine than anyone else's. Throughout the evening, you notice her glancing your way, her eyes lighting up whenever you speak. Even when you're just talking to others, her positivity seems to spike. This isn't just her being friendly, it's a sign that she's genuinely enjoying your company and possibly thinking about you a lot more than she lets on. From a stoic perspective, understanding these subtle signals can help you navigate your interactions with greater wisdom and calmness. Stoicism teaches us to observe without becoming overly attached to outcomes. Recognize her increased laughter and positivity as indicators of her feelings, but remain grounded in your own sense of self-worth and tranquility. By embodying stoic principles, you can maintain a balanced view of the situation. Appreciate the joy she brings, but don't let it dictate your happiness. Remember, true stoicism is about finding contentment within yourself, regardless of external validation. This approach not only makes you more attractive, but also ensures that your emotional well-being isn't tied solely to how others respond to you. So the next time you see her laughing more around you, take it as a positive sign. Enjoy the moment, but stay rooted in your stoic principles. This balance will not only make you more appealing, but also help you navigate the complexities of relationships with wisdom and grace. Number 10, she finds excuses to stay. When a woman finds excuses to stay, it's a clear sign that she is thinking about you. Imagine this, the evening is coming to an end and it's time to part ways. Yet she seems unwilling to leave, lingering around, almost delaying the inevitable goodbye. This behavior is more than just casual. It's a sign that she is deeply immersed in your presence and doesn't want the interaction to end. From a stoic viewpoint, this situation can be seen as an indication of the natural human desire to connect and find joy in meaningful interactions. Stoicism teaches us to value genuine relationships and cherish moments of connection, as they are fleeting and precious. Think about a time when you had a wonderful evening with someone special. As the night progresses, you notice she keeps finding small reasons to stay a bit longer. Another cup of tea, one more story to share, or even just sitting in comfortable silence. Her actions are not random. They are her way of extending the time she gets to spend with you. When she lingers, she is savoring every moment, reluctant to leave the bubble of happiness and warmth that your presence brings. Her brain struggles to transition away from an enjoyable experience because it prefers to stay in that state of contentment. This is a natural response rooted in our desire to hold on to positive experiences. Her hesitance to leave is a sign that she values your company and finds joy in being around you. It's her way of holding on to the connection, even if it's just for a few extra minutes. 
This behavior reflects her reluctance to let go of the closeness and comfort she feels with you. As someone practicing stoicism, you can appreciate and respect her need for connection. Recognize the value in these moments and reciprocate with warmth and understanding. Engage with her genuinely, showing that you also value the time spent together. This mutual appreciation can strengthen the bond between you, fostering a deeper and more meaningful relationship. In conclusion, when a woman finds excuses to stay, it's a sign that she is deeply engaged and thinking about you. Her actions reflect a desire to prolong the positive experience and maintain the connection. By understanding and appreciating this from a stoic perspective, you can cultivate a relationship built on mutual respect and genuine affection. Number 11, she texts or calls for no reason. One of the clearest signs that a woman is thinking about you is when she texts or calls for no apparent reason. If she's reaching out without any urgent matter or necessary update, it's because you are on her mind. This is a powerful indicator of her interest and affection. From a stoic perspective, consider the principle of sympathia, the idea that we are all interconnected and influence each other's lives. When she takes the time to initiate contact, it shows she values the connection and feels a strong pull towards you. It's as if her thoughts naturally gravitate towards you, compelling her to reach out, even without a specific reason. For instance, you're going about your day, focused on your tasks, when you suddenly receive a text from her that simply says, hey, just thinking about you, or what's up? These messages, while seemingly casual, are loaded with meaning. They reveal that you've crossed her mind, and she couldn't resist the urge to connect. It's a testament to the mental space you occupy in her thoughts. To give a more concrete example, let's say you had a great conversation with her last night. The next day, she texts you a meme that reminded her of something you said, or she calls to ask, how your day is going. These small gestures are not random. They are deliberate acts of reaching out because she wants to keep the connection alive. She might even ask seemingly minor questions just to hear your voice or get your attention. Remember, genuine connections are built on these small, consistent efforts. When she goes out of her way to text or call without a pressing reason, it's her way of saying, you matter to her. It's a subtle yet profound way of showing that you occupy a significant place in her mind and heart. So, the next time she texts or calls you just to chat or share a random thought, appreciate the gesture. It's not just about the message itself, but the underlying intent and emotion behind it. Recognize it as a sign that she's thinking about you and cherish these moments of connection. They are the building blocks of a deeper, more meaningful relationship. As we conclude our exploration today on the subtle yet clear signs that she's definitely got you on her mind, I hope you found these insights through the lens of stoicism enlightening. Whether it's the way her eyes linger on you, the nervous habits she exhibits, or the depth of the conversations she initiates. Each sign is a window into her feelings towards you. If this video has helped you see these signs in a new light, or if you recognize these behaviors from someone special in your life, don't hesitate to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We value your thoughts and experiences, so please leave a comment below to share your story or any insights you might have. And if you're curious about more ways stoicism can impact your relationships and daily life, check out the recommended videos appearing on your screen right now. Thank you for watching. And remember, every day is a chance to observe, learn, and grow in our understanding of others and ourselves. See you in the next video.